Welcome to Thangway News. I'm Viet Cường. Let's take a look at today's headlines. Investment promotion and social security meeting in Northwest area. Bahang Tao Phu Yen District boosting construction and development of fourth great urban. Preserving traditional villages of Sari culture in Phu Quoc village, Tân Phu Kwamu Phu Yen District. On the morning of April 3rd, an investment promotion and social security meeting in the northwest area was held solemnly in Tuyen Quang province. The meeting was attended by Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phuc and domestic as well as international investors. On behalf of Taiwan province, Mr. Zheng Ngoc Long, chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, also joined the meeting. Northwest area consists of 12 midland and northern mountainous provinces. This area has a great deal of potentials for land, forests, natural resources, minerals, and advantages on the development of agriculture, forestry, fisheries, tourism, and processing industry. According to statistics, over the years, the economy of the northwest provinces has developed rapidly with the annual average GDP growth rate of over 9%. However, due to specific causes, the strength of the Northwest still has not been promoted properly, in spite of its potentials. The lives of its ethnic groups continue facing many difficulties. At the meeting, on the basis of analyzing the difficulties and advantages in the economic development of the region, the local people and their investors suggested and agreed the promotion of economic development in the region focus on three key issues, building infrastructure, promoting the value of national identity to exploit the tourism potentials, and training human resources. Also at the meeting, 26 projects in 10 provinces have been granted licenses with a total capital investment up to tens of trillions of Vietnam doll. In addition, many investment agreements have also been signed. The businesses of Taiwan province in particular have signed their investment contracts worth over 1,500 billion Vietnam dong. In the development orientation of Phu Yen District, Ba Hang Town is located as the premise for the construction of the district to become an industrial town by 2015. By June this year, Ba Hang Town and the other expanded areas are expected to meet the basic criteria to standardize a fourth grade urban with an area of over 5,500 hectares and a population of over 50,000 people. According to the approved plan, this will be the urban center of Phu Yen Town in 2015. Through the review, analysis, evaluation, and synthesis of the current state of the expanded Bahang town, it has basically met the basic criteria for the recognition of the fourth great urban standards set by the government. In particular, these are the specific criteria on urban functions, urban population size and density, the proportion of non-agricultural workers, urban infrastructure systems, and urban landscape architecture. To improve the unsatisfactory standard criteria and make Ba Hang Tao equal to the function of a fourth great urban, in 2013, the Tao will continue concentrating on development sectors, focusing on attracting investment, developing industrial and service potentials, and good management on planning and building technical infrastructure. In March 2013, trading activities in Taiwan market returned to their normal state after the Lunar New Year. In March, the decrease of consumer demand as well as the purchasing power led to a 0.6% reduction in the consumer price index compared to the previous month. However, the consumer price index still grew up to 7.17% compared to the same period 2012. Of the 11 major groups of goods and services, only one of them, known as culture, recreation, and tourism, showed an increase because the opening of Taiwan tourism season 2013 in March made activities on culture, entertainment, and travel more exciting. Meanwhile, garments, headwear, footwear, household equipment, drugs, health services, telecommunications, and education remain stable compared to the previous month due to the demand for the changeable season. On the other hand, the groups of food and catering services, beverage and tobacco, 
housing and construction materials, transportation, gold and foreign currencies showed a decrease in the index compared to the previous month. Nevertheless, the consumer price index in April is predicted to be stable and slightly higher than in March 2013. During the period 2008-2013, the Farmers Association of Tangyuan, in collaboration with the agricultural extension stations and departments of agriculture of the relevant districts, cities, and towns in the province, organized technical training courses and technology transfer for nearly 750,000 members. In the last five years, the Farmers Association at all levels of the province made efforts to complete the technical training, building the models of science and technology transfer and raising funds to help the members and bring economic efficiency to the farmers in the province. The Farmers Association organized over 6,400 technical training sessions and study tours to gain experience from good business models inside and outside the province. Additionally, Nearly 90 technical training courses on how to use fertilizer were open to more than 17,600 farmers. Over 54,000 tons of fertilizers and nearly 50 tons of food plants were supplied to farmers to develop production. Besides, the association has advised and effectively implemented the project on mushrooms and medical mushroom production and consumption in Taiwan province in the period 2010-2015. Moreover, 101 certificates of Taiwan Tea Collective trademarks were conferred to enterprises, cooperatives, and households. The activities of the Farmers Association at all levels helped improve the product quality, increase their incomes, and improve the lives step by step. Newly recognized as a provincial handicraft village in 2009, but the work for planting mulberry, raising silkworms in Fukuok Village, Tân Phú Commune, Phú Yên District, Tangwen Province, has been in existence for a long time. Aside from providing a stable income for the local people, the cultural and traditional beauty of the village located next to Cold Bridge needs to be preserved and respected. Although it has just finished the first litter of silkworm and still waiting for a new one, the land of Fukuok Sericulture Village appears to have scattered mulberry plants, which are taken care of by local farmers. Mulberry growing, silkworms feeding, and silk unraveling are harmonic and have an inseparable coherence. Silkworms only eat clean mulberry leaves and release golden soft silk fibers. With experience from her ancestors, Mrs. Lê Thị Zui, an old woman, works hard to take care of 720 square meters of mulberry every day. Sericulture has existed here for a long time. Many families have given up on sericulture, but it is still maintained by my family because it is more efficient than raising other animals. Particularly, this is the traditional craft of the ancestors that must be preserved. Like Lady Zoe's family, Trần Quốc Toàn's family in Đình Hamlet, Tân Phú Commune, Phú Bình District, has still maintained the largest sericulture model in the village and is now busy preparing for the coming silkworm litters. Mulberry cultivation and silkworm rearing were passed down from his father. Through the ups and downs of life, his family continues to maintain the traditional craft. Fukuok Sericulture Village consists of households in four hamlets, but only about 300 households held on a job with limited mulberry area of just over 10 hectares. Although faced with many problems, such as lack of human labor, easily affected seal warm, or stringent mulberry care techniques and unfair price controlled by traders, the farmers of Fukuok village reaffirmed their determination to maintain traditional craft. This is a policy that needs support from different agencies of the government to help local farmers find out the ways to overcome difficulties. Sericulture is in danger of extinction. We are looking forward to being supported by the levels of the government, departments, agencies, in terms of capital, machinery, scientific and technical training to continuously develop our traditional craft. In particular, the state should have policies to support outlets for the sericulture products of Fukuok traditional village. 
The silkworm breeding is not easy. It requires thorough care from the farmers. Despite the hard work, local residents of Sari Kaucha Fukok Village feel proud of their products that bring out the beauty of their traditional culture. No matter how difficult it may be, the farmers are greatly determined to keep their traditional craft for the well-being of their children and their future grandchildren. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.